Welcome back and today things took a turn. I really expected to tell you about how great it is to be a consumer in 2020 because of China and Chinese manufacturers, but instead I was reminded of why diligence in your online product search is more important today than it was before. This video is not designed to take a stab at Chinese manufacturers and in fact I'm not here to single out Mikey, the manufacturer in question here, and I thought that their response was extremely professional and was far more than I'd expected for the price I paid and for the problems that I faced with the product. But I do want to stress just how important it is for us to manage our expectations and dig deeper before clicking the checkout button. Now I recently stumbled upon some solar lights suitable for our garden and decided to give them a shot. I just recently bought this beautiful olive tree for our terrace and I really wanted it to be lit up at night. And I found this brilliant solution where you can wedge these lights in and put a solar panel a little bit away and it would light up at night perfectly. So when I first reviewed the product, I sincerely thought that this would be an easy and quick review. Day one with this product was incredible. I literally set the thing up and the lights were perfectly bright and they did the job fantastic. I quickly rushed to start getting this review out because I wanted to tell everybody about my amazing experience. But as you see, things took a little frustrating turn and it's been almost three weeks since I purchased this product. The product in question is this Mikey, I believe I'm saying it right, solar powered spotlights. I bought these after quickly glancing at the review score and judging that they would benefit my tree's aesthetic. I'll do the classic unboxing, main features, what I liked, what I didn't like, and if there was anything that really stood out as worth noting. And then finally, I'll give you my opinion on the whole thing. So the packaging is standard issue for most low priced Chinese manufactured products direct from the manufacturer. It meets the basic requirements for labeling and specification. In the box you get multiple mounting types for walls or in soil wedging along with the required hardware to put it together. There are three metal wedges for the fixtures and a plastic wedge for the solar panel which can also be placed somewhere away from site and there's mounting brackets to place these things on walls or floors if you're so inclined. There's a manual to explain to you how to get started but it's quite bare bones. I mean, the main feature of this product is that it doesn't need to be plugged into any electrical power. It can be installed on walls or in gardens and can also turn itself on or off automatically, thereby giving you light when you need it and none when you don't. Super. Now the good. I like that the setup took less than 10 minutes and that I had it installed relatively quickly. It does the job you ask it to and it comes with an automatic on off sensor, which I hadn't considered before buying. So I was extremely pleased to see that feature as part of the package. It did confuse me at first though, because I would set the whole thing up and realized that nothing was working and couldn't figure out why it pressed the button on and off and nothing would work. And then by mistake, I flipped the solar panel over and the lights turned on after which I figured out that there must be a sensor. I will note that the lights do look to be well built. They feel good to the touch. The wedges are nice. I really don't have any complaints on the light side or even the wiring itself. The wiring is very intuitive. The ends of the wires do fit in quite well and there's a little rubber sealant in there just for added protection. I thought that the product was well designed overall. Now if we're moving to the bad, there is one thing worth mentioning on the quality front and that's the solar panel itself. Now I didn't realize when I first looked at this that this would be a bigger issue but the solar panel, you know, as a function of price, it does look poorly designed. Since I have to keep the panel within reach of the fixtures, it can become an eyesore, and it actually did end up doing that. The wires are also a little bit limited, so if you're looking for long, long distances, you might need the expansion on the wires that, cut, that you can buy from the same company, but I found it to be more than adequate for my little planter pot. And this is exactly the kind of use that I would think would be perfect for this product. I don't think that this would be perfect in all scenarios where lighting is needed in any garden, but in this case, I think this is the right one. There's also a question of long-term reliability and quality. I've been using it for a bit now, but I, I will say that I am concerned that the product will not last too long. And by too long, I mean longer than a year. Now let's get into what makes this product a little bit of a letdown. The product's ability to collect solar rays. Now I had originally placed a solar panel in an area that was away from sight, but still got some overhead rays. And mind you, I live in Kuwait. This is one of the hottest, sunniest places on earth. So I came home that first night after the first charge, only to find that the, the bulbs were barely working. I instantly knew that it was a solar panel problem. So I moved it to try again. 
so I did find that the panel started to collect rays a little better, but never enough as that first night. I feel like the batteries must have been charged really well before sending it over. But like I said, I could not get that initial excitement that I had when I first bought the product. The solar panel just did not enough rays. So naturally I looked up the user manual to see if I'd missed anything. Then I found an instruction on the page telling buyers to charge fully first. So I did just that, but it didn't help much. I contacted the manufacturer and they responded promptly in their defense. In fact, they're currently working to check on where the problem is coming from and I did replace the batteries and the housing and I've noticed that while it started off better, it was the same as before. Now that takes me to my opinions on this whole thing. This set of solar fixture really does do the intended job. So as you can tell, I'm, I'm content with the purchase, you know, despite the issues. And that leads me to the next part. Look, it did take a little too much tinkering and checking and rechecking to get the solar panel to work with. It's good overall, but not an instant recommendation. I was actually struck by this and decided to check the reviews. I mean, they looked very positive on the outside, but it seemed like the, po the product was way less easy to use than I had experienced and not as reliable. So I used fakespot.com and a different story emerged. Now, I'm not going to go into detail into how they conduct their reviews, but let's take it for face value. As you can see, the results are not very positive. This fake spot grading and the actual review from Amazon made far more sense now. And this is the point of this video. So if you have a very large garden and you need, you know, you have a need for custom lighting and timing and such, I, I actually would stay away, not from this product in particular, but this type of product. Obviously, if you needed multiple sets of three, you're going to end up with multiple sets of solar panels. And that is another consideration worth making. But if you do only have a limited number of planters and they do get good sunlight and you want to do this with a little hassle, I mean, this product and this type of product, I think will do the job just fine. And considering the price, it's, it's pretty unbeatable. Now, I wanted to highlight the importance of diligence in your product search. Reviews are something we rely on to gauge the usefulness of a product before we make a purchase, but sometimes we want to read positive reviews to you know, to confirm our opinion or which product to buy. Thing is, I checked multiple solar lights on fake spot and found that some of them were in fact incredible products. And I wish that that was the case here, but that was my fault for missing that step. But this is what prompted me to take that step. And I hope that now maybe one or two of you will do the same and avoid this kind of annoyance or annoying situation. One thing that is quite clear is that some Products made by Chinese manufacturers like these have become sort of a hit or miss proposition. As consumers, it's tough to get an idea of what to expect. So every time we purchase from a manufacturer, in China at least, we feel as though we are taking a gamble. And I, I feel that way for sure. And while I stress that I'm not upset, nor am I disappointed, especially not at Mikey, I feel like they were a lot more professional than I expected them to be. I am pointing out that there are good methods to help filter out the good Chinese manufacturers from the bad ones. And there are some that really do deserve your business and some that remar you know, markedly don't. Well, anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you found this review helpful. And if you did, please subscribe and like this video. And if you'd like to tell me your thoughts, please let me know down below.